Hello, we're going to look at some important signs and symbols that help us with our music reading. The first sign we're going to learn is the treble clef, and it has a second name. It's sometimes called a G clef. So it's a treble clef and a G clef. Our next symbol is a bass clef. And like the treble clef that has a second name, the bass clef has a second name. It's sometimes called the F clef. So bass clef and F clef. This is called a staff. And it's important to note that there are five lines, three, four, five, and four spaces. One, two, three, four. Music staff. Now what do you see? Looks like we've combined a lot of things together. We have our treble clef, which is also called the G clef. The bass clef, our F clef, we have our five lines and four spaces at the top, and then we have five lines and four spaces at the bottom. We call this all together the grand staff. And the grand staff has this nice little beautifully curved brace there right at the very beginning. Now we have something added to the grand staff. You see the green arrow here? It's pointing to this line right here. And if we follow the dots, it takes us to what is called a whole note. And this whole note is a G. Now let's go backwards and notice that the tail of the treble clef or the G clef is wrapped around this line. This is how we can find the G note. It's always on this second line from the bottom or the fourth line from the top. And our last one shows the bass clef with the green arrow. And we follow the arrow and we find that there's a whole note that is on that same line. This is called an F. And then we go backwards and notice that the line is right in between the two dots of the bass clef. This also is a way of showing us where the F line is, just like the tail of the treble clef wraps around the G line. The bass clef two dots show us exactly where the F is. And if we count from the bottom, one, two, three, four, it's the fourth line from the bottom, but the second line from the top. When you practice your music this week, see if you can find some of those symbols and also remember the names of them. Thank you for watching.